Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So I just got back from the Arnold a couple hours ago and um, you know, I decided to make this 2023 Arnold Classic Bikini Recap video. Um, it was a really, really good show, really strong lineup and I think the judging was um, spot on. Um, I think it might be useful to explain to you guys um, why the athletes placed the way they did and why there was so much shuffling around compared to the, um, you know, the Olympia placings and um, you know, there was some it's a big differences in, in placing, especially with Laura Lee and Jen and Maureen and, um, you know, the top girls kind of really shuffled around here. So I want to go over that and I want to kind of explain to you what I saw and why I think the judging was great. So, um, I have, this is uh, typically when I make these videos, I do it with NBC news online pictures, but they didn't, um, Arnold didn't, um, their the Arnold team only had one photographer for the show. So I'm going off of the live stream video that um, that they had. It's not too bad, so hopefully the quality is good enough for you guys to understand what I'm uh, critiquing here. And I want to say all of these girls are really good. I'm not, if I give someone, you know, if I say my opinion, I'm not trying to bring down their physique or trying to, you know, hurt them as a person, right? That's not my goal with this at all. I'm just trying to tell you guys what I see and um, explain to you guys what I think the judges saw. So I did speak with a couple of judges after the show. I like to do that just to learn um, and make sure that what I see is on point so that I can continue learning and, you know, continue um, bringing what the judges want, right, so that my athletes can place well. So, um, you know, first thing to address, obviously, Laurel Lee won the show. Um, I think I think that was that was fair. Um, I posted after presenting that it's going to be between Maureen and Laurel Lee for one point uh, difference because it was really close. The final scorecard showed that it was two points, so... That means four or five of the judges actually had Maureen winning, and the rest had um, Laura Lee winning, which which I think is reasonable. Um, I'm gonna explain to you why, and I'm gonna explain to you why there's such a big difference between the uh, the placing with the Olympia and the Arnold. So one of the one of the judges, one of the top judges there, um, you know, wrapped pitching. I went up to him like, "Hey, what do you think?" And he's like, uh, "Maureen and Laura Lee look really good." And he's like, "When Laura Lee's on, she's very hard to beat." And I 100% agree with that. Um, Laura Lee has the best genetics out of anyone right now competing in the di bikini division. Um, and if she's on, if she's at 100%, no one can beat her. Um, but the issue is is the, the lack of consistency. So if Laura Lee showed up against Olympia, would she have beat Maureen? Maybe. Maybe. But, um, you know, the thing is... is um, Laura Lee, like, she'll nail it, like, for a couple of shows, and then, like, some shows kind of goes down, and kind of like a Maureen or a Jen, they kind of, um, they're always on, like, an upward uh, trajectory, and they're kind of improving, 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 and, um, you know, when I coached Jen for two years, I think she was, I, I remember what shows she was off, she was off at the, um, the show in Columbia in 2019, um, I wasn't a fan of the Pittsburgh shape we bought, and I, th in my opinion, I think she was off at the, the actual, the Arnold that she won, that, those are the three shows, I think, where she was off, the rest, Jennifer Dory was, has always been on. Um, you know, I really like all of her, um, all of her Olympia shapes. I think she improved um, every time, including when she won, and um, you know, last year too when she came second. I think there was all incremental improvements. Um, Maureen, same thing. You know, she never really jumped up and down in placing. She went all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Same thing with Jen. Started, I think we placed 10 first Olympia, then fifth, then second, then first, right? Laura Lee, her first Olympia, played second, and then um, you know she won three. She won her. She won three pro shows in a row. Uh, played second at the Olympia, and then did the Arnold, came sixth, and then did the Olympia, then came fifth or fourth, then fifth. Um, then we did the Olympia together in 2021, where she came second. That was her closest to winning the Olympia, one point away. Um, uh, in 2021, when. Um, when we're working together and then last year she came fifth so it's so up and down and um, I don't think that has anything to do with the physique um, these athletes have very different personalities and that plays a huge role into how consistent they are and this is this is not just bikini athletes this is you know as a coach if you're a coach listening to this I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about like um, you know even for men like um, let's say like someone like Phil Heath, right? Where they just, they look amazing every year after year after year. You know, these athletes are very organized. They're very uh, precise. They're very coachable. They're very accurate on everything they do. And that's why they're able to consistently bring, um, you know, what we expect from them, right? Um, same thing with Jen, same thing with Maureen. Um, Laura Lee has the best genetics 
uh, out of everyone, but there's a, there's a little bit more of like an emotional thing where, um, so I think one of the best shows we we did together when we worked together was the Chicago Pro. That was, I think, one of my favorite looks she ever had. And then the Olympia, I think those, those two. But even when she worked with me, like there was like the Tampa Pro, like her, she, she did not look good. She was soft. And uh, Tyler told me like he, he was like, James, she's way too soft. And, you know, she, she plays as high as she did because of her structure, right? Because so structurally, she's so good that it's going to, like, if she, if she's, even if she's not at her best, she's still going to be better than 99% of people. But if she's at her best, she's very, very hard to beat. So this is, um, this is what I mean by, would Laura Lee beat Maureen at the Olympia if Laura Lee looked like this? You know, maybe. Um, because Laura Lee is structurally very balanced. Um, you know, obviously everyone says her glutes are a little bit big in the back. I agree. But, um, you know, when she is on, she is very good. So I, so I think she looked really good at the Chicago Pro 2021. The Olympia 2021, uh, the Arnold 2021, I didn't like it. She came in too lean. Um, I was still coaching at that time, and, you know, we agreed it was too lean, and then the Olympia, we fixed that. Um, she did a show a couple weeks later, Sacramento. Um, I think that was one of her um, her worst looks ever. Then she did, then she won the Arnold last year. I think that was one of her best looks ever. And then she did the Pittsburgh Pro. I think that was one of her best looks ever as well. And then two weeks later to New York Pro, she was way off. So, like, it just is so up and down. And then after she did the Olympia, that was one of her worst looks ever. So, it just – and now she wins the Arnold, right? So, it's just – it's so up and down that you don't know. And But it she just – if she nails it at the Olympia, she will win. That is the final point. And it doesn't really matter um, – who else is there? Like they have no control over Laura Lee. Laura Lee, had, Laura Lee is the deciding factor of if she wins the Olympia or not. It doesn't matter who shows up, right? So if she nails it, she's gonna win. If she doesn't nail it, someone else is gonna win. That's just the way it is, because she and she has she is in full control. So it does. It literally does not matter how anyone else looks. It literally just matters of um, if she shows up or not. That's the, and right now, given the athletes right now that we have like in the top six, um, you know, unless some other genetic free comes along, that is, that is my opinion. I think that's, it's going to be hard to argue that, um, um, and, you know, mention that what, what I just said is not true. So, um, yeah, Lurley nailed this show. Um, I think her prejudging look was one of my favorite looks. I, th I think it was actually my favorite look she ever had was at the Arnold show. So, um, you know, being objective as a coach and just looking at the physique alone, um, you know, I, how can I say she didn't deserve to win if I, if I personally think, um, you know, as a professional coach that she looked at her best, her looked her best, right? And um, as far as Maureen, I think Maureen looked really, really good. I think she was a little bit tighter at the Olympia, a little bit tighter. I like this suit. I don't think it's a problem. People are saying, oh, her suit's ugly. Her hair is not good. You guys, you don't know what you're talking about, first of all. Um, her makeup is fine. Her hair is fine. I looked through his entire pose. Room. I looked through everyone's pose room routine. We might go through that, through that a little bit later, but... I could not find one flaw in, in Maureen's posing routine. I tried, trust me. Um, the only thing I would say about Maureen is I wish she smiled more with her teeth. I wish she did. I think that would uh, bring out... She already has the it factor with her you know, amazing presence, but I think if she just smiled more, I think it would help her tremendously. So that was the only... like We can go through a routine after, but I mean, that was the only thing. Um, Loli's routine is really good. Um, she just stumbles in two... Um, two transitions she does every single time. Every single every single show she does these transitions, she stumbles. Um, I don't know if I could find it. She steps back because she puts her weight on her, her front leg instead of her back leg. But anyway, that's not going to change her placing, especially in the, the lineup. Uh, Jennifer Doyle, we're probably going to go over routine because um, that one kind of... Man, Jennifer Doyle, I, I So initially someone asked me um, what I thought the placings were going to be at this show. And I hate doing... Um, you know, predictions, because I think they're absolutely useless. I think it means absolutely nothing. And I think people just like to, you know, um, do predictions for really, I, I don't think it holds any value. So what I said was, I think Jennifer Dory or Maureen's going to win because they're very analytical and they take the judges' feedback and they apply it. And I think Laura Lee um, might sh overshoot the judges' feedback and might come in a little bit too soft because she's more of an emotional athlete. And, um, you know, I was wrong actually about this because... Um, I, I don't think my statement was wrong. I just think that I, um, <clears throat> well, I just think that Laura Lee um, and Kim actually took took the feedback um, and were very precise, and I was I was really impressed by it. I I thought Laura Lee was going to come in too soft because she was posting that 
someone sent me that she was like going to be much bigger and fuller. And I, I know, um, I know Lorley's personality. She always wants to change her, her physique completely every show. So I thought that she would, might come in a little bit too soft. And I thought Jen was going to come in. Um, I thought Jen was going to fix her front and back pose. I thought it was going to be so flawless. And I thought that might give Jen, um, the edge in this competition, I thought she might take it. I thought Maureen was going to come in almost exactly the same as the Olympia, which she should have done, which she, which I believe she accomplished. Maybe she was like a couple percent. Um, she could have been a couple percent leader. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. But yeah, I mean, I was off and we're going to go through Jen's routine because I'm going to show you um, what I what I think about that. And, you know, I think if Jen won the Olympia again, I would be happy. She's a really good ambassador for the sport and a good person. And, and I mean, there's not really anyone that doesn't like Jen. So um, it was really frustrating to see, um, you know, these small posing mistakes that I think hurt her place in completely. So I didn't ask the judges about this, but I'm going to explain to you guys what I think. And you guys can, um, can let me know in the comments here if you agree with me. So um, let's go to just to the initial comparisons where they um, they did the call out. So we have Laura Lee, Ivana, Maureen, Romina, and Alessia. So right here... Um, Ivana was actually the dark horse for me in this show. She's posted pictures like a few days out or a week out, and I was like, holy shit, this girl looks good. Um, Ivana is like a Maureen, right? They're like kind of like the same height. Ivana's presentation is amazing. Um, she has like amazing confidence, obviously beautiful. Like they're kind of very Maureen-esque, right? She could be the next Maureen. Um, this was the leanest she's ever been, and she overshot the conditioning. And um, you can see here in her shoulders and arms, it was very veiny, very vascular, very uh, strided. So I think they might have overshot the conditioning, but um, I think she looked really good. I think her back shot was on point, just like in the shoulders and arms. I think what maybe might have happened is they realized she was a little bit too lean and started loading her up with like more food. And then it kind of brings out the vascularity. And I think that that's, I think that is what happened. Because when I saw her picture she posted a week ago, she didn't have the vascularity in the shoulders. Um, you know, that's kind of hard to correct at the last second. So um the, any uh, the other critique i would give for ivana is i i, I don't like billy as shoots um you know or billy as or ombre i don't know uh, <laughs> the the two-tone suits i i don't like that and you know i don't think the judges like that either because if you look at the top 10 placings at the olympia for the past decade or you know however long the bikini's been there no one's ever won or really placed in the top 10 with a two-tone suit so i don't know why um why she would bring that to the stage when you know, the other girls are I maybe mean, trying something new, but I know the Europeans have like different styles with suits. And I, what I recommend to my athletes to do is just look at the top five bikini girls at Olympia. And, you know, a lot of them wear blue and purple, but like, don't start changing connectors. Don't start doing weird colors. You're not going to see anyone with yellow, orange, or these ugly colors on, or white at the top five Olympia. Like don't start doing these random colors to try to stand out because it just it stands out in a bad way. Right, so that's I would definitely go back to whatever suits you wore. I think my favorite look on her was like red. I think that really suits her really well. So I would go back to that. I, the two tone suit. I don't know why she did that. Um, did it affect her placing? I don't think so, but it's not gonna. It's definitely not gonna help. So um, let's just go through this a little bit here. To me, um, and this is hard to judge because Laura Lee's front post here and Maureen, they're very similar. Um, obviously Maureen is a little bit of a tighter waist and you know what I found weird too. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's her implants, but Maureen's like, maybe it's the way she's angling. Her waist is always in the dark. Um, even e like the lighting, like you'll see, like even in a routine, her waist is always, uh, darkened. And I, I don't know why. And maybe it's the way she's like leaning forward or leaning back. I think, she, oh, you know, you know what? I actually know why, um, she tilts her hips kind of away from the judges and she leans her chest forward a little bit to the judges. So it kind of creates a shadow and I would fix that because it doesn't help. Um, it doesn't help her midsection. I realized that when I was going through the footage and watching her routine and you can see her like all the other girls, you see their waist, you see right light, 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 light. And then Maureen's is very dark. So maybe she can stand her posture a little bit taller. I think it's going to help um, show off her really good midsection better. Plus you can see Maureen's in the middle. So this is where the best lighting is and the lighting is still not shining good on her, her midsection here. So you can see here, clearly, Ivana's arms and stuff are very, very um, lean. But, I mean, her waist is incredible, and her structure is incredible, too. <clears throat> so this is the first the first back shot we've seen of the entire show. Um, you know, let's look at this. Lorley's glutes, yes, they're a little bit too big. But, I mean, overall, is it too big where it's too much to not win? I don't think so. Right, but it's. I think if she downsizes them just like 
half a pound or less. I think she would even be a little bit better. Um, you know, these four girls here, their glutes are unbelievable. Ivana's glutes are ridiculous. They're very similar, actually. Eve, um, Loli has, has higher tie-ins, um, and her glutes are very, very round. Loli has very high tie-ins. And Ivana, Maureen, and Romina have very, like, lower tie-ins, you see here. So their glutes kind of go down a little bit more on their hamstring, and they have very similar glutes. I want to I would want to see how Romina looks if she pushes back a little bit more. You can see here, Maureen is pushing back a little bit more, and she's, um, you see a little bit more upper glute fullness. Um, Romina is standing a little bit tall, which it, it looks good. I mean, Romina has crazy back shot, but I think that it, I want to see, I would want to see how she looks if she pushes back a little bit more. Um, Ivana here, her suit cut is so thick. Like compare Loralee's suit cut here, like the material to this one, right? This is, you can see, like you can like grab it and it's like half an inch thick. Like I, I don't like suits where it should be paper thin and very, um, um, it, it yeah, I, Basically, I want I want I would want the shoes to be very thin, just like Laura Lee's, just like Maureen's, just like uh, Romina's, and this one's a little bit thicker. We'll go into that later, but it's a very thick material, and it's a, it's probably European European suit company, but um, they typically make that. That's why I like to just stick to like Toxic Angels. Um, you know, they typically make the best suits, and I I like them. So I know I think I think Laura Lee's suit here is a Toxic Angels suit, um, even though she was sponsored by um, Angel Competition Bikini. I, I don't know what happened there, but to me this looks like a Toxic Angels suit. So. Um, okay, let's continue going on here. Yeah, one thing just to mention, um, you know, Alessia, obviously she's 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 doing the right thing where she's trying to angle towards Sandy, but she's over angling. So you need to make sure you know exactly where the head judge is, and you need to pose for the head judge. Um, and if you don't, then they're not going to see you, and they're not going to move you. So you girls need to set up like a a pylon or whatever you have in your house, and picture that as the head judge, or and put your phone on it, right, and then walk around your room. And pose for the head judge. Back shot, front shot. Back shot, front shot. And then look at the video after and see if the head judge is able to see you. And once you get that down, then you're not going to make these mistakes on stage. But um, you know, I coached Alessia too uh, before. It's, before we get into that, one of my friends was in the audience with me. He texted me. He's like, "It's it's like a battle up there of your, of your ex clients because I coach like half these girls before that were competing at the, the honor." But anyways, um, Alessia's always had an issue of angling. I'll show you after on the side post too. I I don't know what I don't know if it's coordination or what it is, but that's one of the um, the main problems that we used to face. So obviously she's a little bit too lean here. Um, so we're back in the front pose here. To me, the obvious front pose winners, Laura Lee and Maureen, and no one, no one else. Is, man, uh, Romina's is close, pretty close too. So this is the thing. I think if if uh, Romina twisted her waist like Maureen. She would look so much better in this front pose. She's very wide in her clavicles, right? So she can sacrifice a little bit of shoulder, and she has like no lower back muscles, which is amazing for a bikini. She, I, I, I want to see how she looks if she, if she poses um, profile with her waist. Don't move her legs. Microphone shut off. Don't move the legs. Don't move the shoulders. Keep the waist to the side. The belly button turned away. Like like Laura Lee or like Ivana or like uh, Maureen, I think she's gonna look so much better. Um, I I that that's what I would fix on her. I mean, I think she nailed her conditioning and her fullness, and this is one of her best looks ever. But I just whenever I see her twist her hips to the front like that, I don't get it. One other thing I noticed too, um, she has very thick connectors on the top and on the bottom. I um, I don't uh, I, I you have to fix that. Um, you know the girls that are winning the Olympia and are top Olympia, you don't you don't have these double row connectors. Um, it, it, it's too much. It takes away from your body. You go single row connectors like Laura Lee here. Um, and like Alessia here, it just, it looks much better. Um, you can see here, um, Alessia is trying to angle towards that judge, but it's too much high in the glute showing the waist to the front. The thing with Alessia is this, um, her body is extremely hard to work with. She needs to eat like a zillion calories to stay full. And then if she's, and then if her glutes are perfectly full, then her waist is too thick. And then if her waist is too thick, you want to get her a little bit leaner to like kind of help her digestion and feed her a little bit less, but then she's too lean. It's it's a nightmare. It's a freaking nightmare. And it's just a genetic thing where it's like, it's so hard to nail Alessia's shape, um, you know, and and I feel for her because I, I coached her before and it's just, it's very, very, very difficult because her skin is so thin and um, she's kind of like an Ellie. We'll get into Ellie after, but Ellie is same thing. If her glutes are perfect and she's the perfect conditioning um, from the back, then her waist is too thick. 
If her waist, but then if you know, her waist is perfect in the front, then her glutes are, are too lean. Like it's just a fucking nightmare. But she can fix this. But she needs to. She, Alessia always has an angling angling issue all the time, and that was one of the biggest um, the biggest things that I always recommend that she fix. So she needs to work on the angling issue because she does not have a small waist from the front, but she has a very small waist from the side. So the judges cannot see um, see this angle because it just ruins her entire shape. Right? You can see here, obviously. <clears throat> So I think they call the girls off now, and then we're going to go to the second one. <clears throat> so we got Ashley, Ellie, Jen, and the girl who won the Arnold Classic last year on the amateur. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Um, this was one I, I was reading as people were like, Ashley was too thin and blah, blah, blah. This is one of my favorite looks on Ashley that she's ever had. I think because she was pushing back a little bit more in her back pose and it gave her glutes more fullness, but she's clearly very small compared to everyone else. Anyways, we're going to get back into that now, but uh, back to that a little bit later, but I'm going to pause it for a second here and kind of go over the girls. So I think Ellie looked really good. Um, I think she played seventh. She was tied for sixth, I think. And she, it could have went either way, but... Um, her waist is, she always has a, an issue with her waist and it's a genetic thing. I don't, I don't know if she can fix that. It's the same thing. Like I, her best look I ever saw her was Boston pro. I swear to God, she could have beat Maureen at that show it was so close. They looked like identical twins. Her freaking waist was so small. Her glutes were so full. If she can mimic that Boston show, I think she could come top five Olympia. I think so. But it's, I think she has the same problem as Alessia. I think like it's either her back shots too lean and her waist is good or her waist too thick and her back shots, you know. Um, whatever, vice versa. So, I mean, that's, I think that's the issue that she's always been facing and it's so frustrating. Um, there's not much you can do about that. Um, Jennifer Dory, we're going to, or talk about Jennifer Dory a lot in this video because I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, what you can do to improve in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think happened because, um, you know, it didn't make sense to me. Like there was so many technical errors in her posing that I've never seen before. And I was trying to, I, I know... I coached Jen for three years, and I know that she takes judges' feedback very critically, and she, you know, wants to always improve. And she's a good poser. So, um, anyways, we're gonna go through this, and we're, I'm gonna show you guys. So that front pose is perfectly fine. All right, you're, all right, all right. This is the thing. So, Ashley's back shot, pretty good. She's pushing back more than normal, guaranteed. I think that looks a lot better. Um, she needs more size. I, I talked to Adam and he told me, um, I think Ashley was like sick for like a month after Olympia or something and she couldn't train and she was like very light compared to normal. But I, I asked him, I'm like, I, why doesn't Ashley take a year off and grow? And he's like, cause she has nothing else to prove. But I, I would really want to see how Ashley looks with a full year off season to grow. I think she could potentially win the Olympia. Um, you know, and that's not going to happen. She hasn't had off season in five years, right? So She's doing shows every month, and she's just not improving. She, Ashley is like the consistency queen. She's always going to look – you know what Ashley's going to bring to the stage besides a few a few shows here and there where she's off, obviously, because if you do 50 shows a year, you're going to be off a couple of them. But she's very consistent. But um, when it comes to beating the higher girls, she's always going to be, you know, second, third, fourth. That's just what it is because the other girls are taking the time to improve, and Ashley's um, – utilizing her time more on winning the smaller show. So I, I wish they would do that. Was that going to happen? Probably not. But I would like to see Ashley at her full potential actually growing because she's visibly very small compared to the other girls here. So um, she wins the back pose here. Ellie's back pose is really good. Um, Jen's doing a, a full squat here. And this is this is the, the thing I was talking about uh, where it's one of the very critical posing problems that she had during this show. And... I was thinking, I was like, I was just wondering, I was like so perplexed the whole show because she does it in a routine, she does it, she even did it at finals. So I was like, Jen's done a thousand shows, right? She's not going to randomly go on the stage and just do this random back pose out of nowhere. She's she's used to doing the same pose all the time. Obviously her Olympia back pose, we discussed in the last video, but she was like leaning too much on one leg because it was like an imbalance or something. But this is, ex this is an extreme change. So, um... Someone must have told her to do this. I don't know who it was, um, and I think it's going to be changed. So you, you watch. You, you, I want to go back here just for a second to show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to see Jen hits her normal back pose, and then her brain she thinks about it for a second. Well, this is like she hits it a little bit. One sec. We're going to go back a second. So 
So right here, this, this is like her normal back pose right here. And then she just, she thinks about it for a second and just starts squatting down and pushing her knees out. And I'm going to show you guys how much this affects her, her glute shake compared to the other girls, especially in the top four, um, later on. This front pose, I actually like it a lot. Um, at the Olympia, she was twisting. The problem is there, there wasn't consistency in her in her posing. Her her back pose was consistently um, not correct, but her front pose, there's a lot of inconsistencies with her. Um, the distance between her feet, how she's how she's uh, balancing her weight on her body. Um, she needs to bring her shoulder to the front. I'll show you. This is This is pretty good. Um, you see how Ellie and Ashley, bring her, she needs to bring, I don't know why she always tucks her shoulder back a little bit. She needs to bring it to the front. Also, another thing here, she has weight on her back leg. This is slanting her shoulders and this is going to hurt her a lot against girls like Laura Lee, who are, who is very like flat up top. I'm going to show you because it shows imbalances and it shows a little bit of, um, asymmetry. We're not going to go through everyone's routine. Um, I want to go through Jen's routine. Oh, first of all, when Jen came out stage, um, this was the nicest suit I've ever seen her wear. It's it's ridiculous. This is a toxic suit. Um, I think even Laura Lee Sue was one of the nicest I've ever seen her wear. But this Jen's suit was phenomenal. And I'm gonna ask uh, Toxic what suit this was because it's it's um this is the best suit she's ever worn, hands down. Stage presence is perfect. Her walk is perfect. Um, this front pose. Right, same thing as said before. She has weight on this back leg, so she's leaning forward. Your, your abdominals should be straight up. They should be straight up, but the shoulders are slanted. Right, you, you at this level you can't you can't make those mistakes, or you're gonna lose to the girls who um who nail it. So a little bit inconsistency there. She's leaning a little bit on that leg. She needs to keep all her weight on this leg. <clears throat> the back pose here. She does the the squatting motion again. Her knee, look, look how far her knees are pushed out. And this is, I've never seen Jen do this before in my life. So I don't, someone told her to do this for sure. And she, um, maybe she over-exaggerated on stage or just follow what they said. Cause I really don't think Jen looked herself in the mirror and was like, I got to do a squat at the Olympia or at the Arnold to, um, to be better. Um, I don't know the reasoning behind it. Um, but my, my theory is that someone told her to do it. Maybe it was a judge or whatever. And I think maybe she over-exaggerated and did it too much. Or maybe she did it as they said, but obviously it didn't look good on the stage. Um, all right, that's, we're just going to go through hers. The rest, okay, now, now this is the call-outs, right? So they call out Maureen, Laura Lee, Ashley, and Jen, top four. Right away, I already knew it was Laura Lee and Maureen for top two without even a question. Um, right after they, right after the routines. Let them go to the back ones. They're going to move Maureen with Ashley, and then we'll get into it. Okay, so Maureen's in the middle now with Laura Lee. Do you see what I was saying before with, um, with, with Maureen's waist not showing with the lighting? So she's leading towards the judges, and this is making this is taking away from her waist. She needs a little bit of lighting on her her waist, like Ashley and um, and Lordy have. It's too much shadow, um, and it's kind of hurting her here. Um, okay. Do you see how? One sec. Oh, there's not much. They they really didn't let them stay in that pose for very long. Okay, let them go to the back. All right, so look at this. So clearly, Laura Lee's glutes are the biggest one, um, and you know the fullness is perfect conditioning. She nailed her conditioning in this show. It was perfect conditioning, perfect fullness. Um, Jesus Christ! One second. Sorry, a little bit of a delay. Let me go to the back one more time. <clears throat> So 
So you can see the difference between the preposition of Ashley. Jen needs to pose like Ashley here. Um, Loralee typically always like leans to one side and it kind of throws off her symmetry, but it's not enough to ruin her. But um, you can see the difference between Jen pushing out her knees so much, which is something she's never done before, um, versus let's say like a Maureen or an Ashley or a Loralee. And girls, if you put like a band, if you're at the gym, you put a band around your knees and you push your knees out, right? Or you're at like the top motion of a hip thrust where your glutes are like um, flexed, your knees are turned out, your glutes are not going to be round. They're going to be more square and you're going to lose all the fullness. So um, by Jen doing this, she's losing all the fullness of her upper glute and she's making them kind of like a, an upside down triangle. So look at the difference in, between the roundness versus Maureen's glutes and Jen's glutes. And Jen has one of the best glutes in the world. So, it, um, you know, it, kinda, it took away so much from her physique. I think if she nailed her posing flawlessly, she could have won the Olympia and she would have been maybe second or first at the show. I... I I honestly believe it's very... Jen can still win the Olympia again. I really believe that. She needs to nail her posing. Um, I talked to judges. They said Jen could have been a little bit tighter. Um, it's a little bit frustrating. I, I actually prefer Jen the leaner look at the Olympia she just did. I thought that was her best look ever. Um, I prefer it more I prefer it more than the soft, soft look she brought here. I, I don't know how much weight difference it was. Obviously, she's softer here, but maybe try to find even more of a balance. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think she did a pretty good job at this show, but... I think that they just need to be a little bit tighter and fix this posing. All right, so they call them off, so they're going to do the next pack of girls. <clears throat> and guys, I'm going to be doing these show recaps for just like the Arnold Olympia, unless there's like some crazy show where... Uh, Five top Olympians do it. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's get into this now. So, this is the second call out. Um, we have Ivan in the middle. You can see still the shoulders a little bit tight uh, with the striations and the veins. So, this is one issue. Um, you know, this girl, I think it's, it might be a pro debut. You need to move in. Guys, look how, look at the, you see four girls here, and then you see one all the way at the end. I want to mention, though, this girl, I saw her last year win the overall at the, at the Arnold, and she was good, but um, she improved so much. So she might actually be a good pro, and she keeps improving. I was impressed. Um, she, she's a, she needs to not bend her knees this much, though. She's kind of like, your knees should never be outside your feet as a bikini athlete. So you see, like, how Ivana is, like, you see the shoulder to the weight, to the glute, to, to the knee, to the foot. Her, it's like, the knee is push further out than than the foot almost you can't do that because you're going to ruin your whole glute shape and you can see here look at the roundness difference obviously there's much muscle maturity and different insertions and stuff but you cannot have your knees pushed out further than your um than your feet um or you're just not going to have round glutes you know obviously alessia you know way too lean here i mean but once again i coached before and it's very hard to coach one thing i would do she needs to change her suit bottom it's too thick like look at the difference between the suit thickness here versus like um um, Ivana or um, or uh, Romina. I'm not talking about the the thickness this way. I'm talking about like the the material. Unless you already doesn't have big glutes, right? So if you if you have like a suit that's covering way too much of your glutes, plus it's riding very low. Um, if you're having a suit that's covering way too much of your glutes, and you have girls with bigger glutes with smaller suits, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of it's illusion, and you want to show off your glutes in the best way. Like you gotta have a, a good cut, and you gotta have the proper amount of material well it's not too small not too big this is too much material here it takes away like one eighth of her glutes which is way too much <clears throat> once again this girl is way too far so you can literally fit, fit like another person here this is a problem the, the judges are going to ignore you a lot more if you're way off to the side maureen actually did this later on i'll show you too it's very important you have a good stage awareness. So yeah, once again, I would really like Ivana to be, or not Ivana, sorry, but Romina. Like, here, look, she's already posing a little bit more profile with her waist, and it already looks a lot thinner. I think if she, like, even went more with her belly button full profile, like Ivana here, I think she would, her shape would be crazy. And I'm not a big fan of the hair on the shoulders. She might be doing it because she's so wide, but what I would do is I would keep her waist a little bit more to the side, and maybe hide a little bit of her back shoulder instead of putting the hair in front. Uh, all right, now they're moving them around. Okay, I think that's enough for this. Um, we're gonna go to the back to the top four. So we call them out for one final call out. 
They're comparing Jen and Ashley for three four here. Very obvious. Yeah, I mean, Ashley looks so good. This is actually one of my favorite. I, 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 I don't like this bikini at all, but her shape, I think her condition is really good, but she's just small. She's visibly very small compared to the other girls, and I wish you, they're not going to do it, but I wish you would take an offseason. So you remember what, what I what I just told you about with Ma um, Maureen a little bit off to the side too much here? Watch, look at this. So she steps over too much, and the other girls don't. Yeah, there you go, that extra step. So now we have three girls in the middle and Maureen off to the side. You want to move in, everyone, girls, you want to move in cl as close to the center box as you can, right? Your goal is to be in the center box. Physically move towards the center box. Don't leave a huge gap between you and the girl next to you. It's a big mistake. <clears throat> so you can see there, Jen, um, she got into like her usual back pose here. Watch. So... You girl, your girls know our season competitors. Jen, well, Jen's been competing for like, I don't know eight years or something, and you've done so many shows. You don't even have to fake the pose anymore. You know your poses. You can do it a thousand times in your sleep. So, you know, Jen here, you know she does her usual pose. Look, exactly, this is her usual pose, and then she thinks for a second, and then just starts squatting down. So she she has something in her brain telling her, okay, push my knees out. Okay, push my knees out. So something was telling her brain to remember that because it's not usual, and you can see the thinking process as it goes on. Um, every time she gets into her back pose, you can see here she could be a little bit. Low. Watch when she walks. It's, she could be a little bit leaning her legs. Um, I I really like Ashley's pose because right? she's pushing more than usual. Usually, Ashley stands up super tall. I like it with the more the more push thing gives it more density to the glutes. So they're, they're gonna move Maureen and Laura Lee in now to compare for one two. They decided there who was three and four. And um. With Jen here, um, you. Sec, so I'm gonna show you something. It wasn't just a back shot. The front post too needs to be a little bit more consistent, in my opinion. So here, there's like hair on the back shoulder. She's, um, she's tilting down. This thing is very hard to adjust. This camera angle. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at Laura Lee. Okay, look at Laura Lee's stance. Ugh, the problem is they keep moving at the same time. Wait, we're just gonna we're gonna go there. Okay. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. Okay, what, look at Laura Lee's stance. Look at Morning's stance, right? Shoulders perfectly level. If you put a leveler on top of Morning's shoulders, perfect level. Maury, um, Laura Lee and Maureen, same thing. Gentle is dipping a little bit because she has weight on her her back leg, and is shoulders always moving around. You need to you need to be a statue and keep your upper body squared to the front, unless your upper body is too big. Look at this back shot here. Um, yeah, I mean, Maureen, I think Maureen could have been, like, a, I liked her better tighter at the Olympia. She's a little bit tighter. So you can see here, um, Laura Lee has, like, the full tie-in, right, from the side. You see the side of her glute there? And Maureen had it to Olympia, but she's missing it just a little bit here. She's missing it just a little bit here. This back shot that Jen's doing, reminds, this reminds me of like Jen 2018, 2019. That's like, or maybe early 2020. This is like, this looks like Jen with the hair, the, every, this is what it reminds me of so much. It's like, a, they just had a deja vu. It's weird. Um, I'm surprised, um, I just noticed this. Jen has a connector, but like a um, connector for the back. I don't. I think it's the first time she's ever done that. Um, maybe because she's showing more of her back. I. All these girls for sure have the string. No, oh, Maureen has a connector too. Yeah. So, I mean, I've never seen Jen wear a connector in the back back of her suit. She's using a string. I wonder what her reasoning was behind beside um, behind that. But yeah, I mean, so I guess that's that's all the the footage. I mean, it was very short. There's only nine girls. So. Let's see. So just, a t so just, a, this is like the final shot we see. So, um, you know, it's Maureen or Laura Lee in the front. You can go coin toss. It doesn't matter. It's, it's very, very similar. Um, they're both very balanced, both very square shoulders. Ashley's visibly very small compared to everyone else. Um, 
she, she maybe was a little bit flat, but she was sick. But I, I really want to see her grow a little bit more. And I think she could be pushing these girls a lot. Um, you know, um, Jenna thing needs to work on the posing. You see here, she has a lot of weight on this back leg. Look at the difference. Just look at Lorley and Jenna right now, okay? Look at look or look at Ashley too. Look at Ashley's waist, right? It's, it's perfectly like parallel to the other girl, like very upright, very upright. And Jenna's a little bit slanted. This this happens when you have weight on the back leg, and it makes you a lot. It makes you look um, like you're not balanced, and then you're dipping your shoulder, shoulders back. So there's a lot of there's a lot of look at look at Lorley's front pose here. Look at Jen's front pose, and look at like just who looks like the who looks like they have more control over their pose. That's what you got to ask yourself. So if you look uncomfortable, you look like you're not balanced, your waist is dipping forward, your shoulder is not even, there's something off, the judges are going to see that too. And I think that hurts Jen so much. I don't I don't know what's going on. I hope. I really hope she fixes it because, um, you know, this is like a, it's a two-minute fix. To fix. It's a two-minute fix to fix the front and back pose. I think she would be uh, far better. Um, you know, and I think Maureen killed it. I, I, I think she's going to come in a little bit tighter for the, the next time she competes like she did at the Olympia. I think that that was... Um, much better. She posed her front pose a lot better. This show, I noticed she, at the Olympia, she was like doing too much of a vacuum. Um, this time she kept her stomach more flat and it was a lot better. But I mean, Lordy brought it to this show once again. She has the best genetics. So if she brings it 100%, she's going to win. And if she doesn't, then people, other girls are going to beat her. That's just how it is. So obviously her goal is to win the Olympia. She needs to bring it at the Olympia. I mean, winning the Arnold again is great, but I'm sure it's not nearly as a good feeling as if she would have, you know, won the Olympia. So she needs to obviously her goal is to win the Olympia. So she needs to focus on just bringing it for that day to win the Olympia. And if she, she doesn't have to worry about the other girls, if she nails it, she's hundred percent. She's going to beat the other girls guaranteed. Um, Ashley, I said it before. I hope she takes a year off and grow, but I don't think that's going to happen. So um, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to do another one for the Olympia. I'm just going to do Arnold Olympia for these videos. Cause I used to do them all the time. And then people were complaining and saying, Oh, James is mean. And you know what? I'm just like, all right, fine. So I'm not going to do them. So I'll just do it for the big show. So, um, if you have any comments, uh, let me know. You can reply in the comments, DM me, um, whatever you need. So uh, great show, great athletes, you know, um, small takeaways. I hope Jen fixes posing. She can win the Olympia again. Uh, Laura Lee needs to nail it at the Olympia and she will beat everyone. Uh, Maureen, Maureen's like a wild card. She can win the Olympia again. This is, bikini is fucking nuts. It's whoever shows up on that day. Um, you know, look at Laura Lee from fifth to first and then Maureen's first to second and Jen, like... Whoever showed – Tyler Mannion told me at 2020 Olympia when, uh, I, was, when I was coaching Jen, she came second, and Janet won. He says, bikini is whoever peaks the best and whoever shows up on that day the best. That's all it is. So it's like literally if we did, if they we did a whole competition again on the Sunday, the, the, the placings could have changed just based on how the athletes look. So it's like this is so close between all of them. They're going to make small changes. The whole thing is there's – you need uh, – bikini is all about nuances, right, and the small intricate details. They're going to make small small details until they're trying to find a perfect balance, and that's where you win, right? So Maureen found the perfect balance in Olympia. She won. Jen, when she won the Olympia, perfect balance, she won. Lorley still hasn't – she nailed it here, but she needs to nail that perfect balance at the Olympia, right? So it's going to be a battle for consistency for her. She's going to have to nail it on that time. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to continue, you know, it's Sunday. I got still got a lot of work to them before I sleep at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to get this uploaded, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.